everyone said I have the face to be on TV. <laughs> you totally do. And I was just like, all right, this is my moment, and I'm going to get out there and be on TV. So, But you didn't do really a lot of the hard work at the beginning. You didn't apply or anything. They found you. Yeah, yeah. I did not apply. They found me on Instagram. So it was really weird. I thought it was just someone, you know, catfishing me, like, to get my number, try to reach out to me. Trying to sell you, like, uh, non-fungible tokens. Oh, yeah. So, so something <laughs> like that. I have no, I honestly have no idea. So it was really weird. I dodged them for a whole month. And then I finally gave in, see what they were about. And then there were actually five producers on the other line waiting for me. And so that was part of the casting. So Back in the Groove is a Hulu reality show. It just premiered actually today as we're doing the interview at midnight, which is wild. I know. Um, So tell us about the premise. Oh, man. So we uh, filmed it in the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that was perfect for me because I just got out of tax season. So, Oh, and you're an accountant. You do have a unlike a lot of reality stars. Robert does have a real job. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I have a real job. So this is totally out of the norm for me. Yeah. So yeah, I was filled in the Dominican Republic. And, you know, on the set, there was three gorgeous women mm-hmm. in their early 40s. And then there's 24 guys. So, you know, trying to fight for the women's attention was really tough. I bet. But you just had to, you know, pull your tricks out of the bag. Yeah, and I can't wait to hear about your tricks. But to going back to the women, so back in the groove is sort of like how Stella got her groove back. And the host is Tay Diggs, Diggs. who was in the original movie. And it's all about older women, sort Mm -hmm. of, you know, the term cougars. We don't use that too much anymore. But the 24 guys, you guys are all younger. How old are you? I'm 29. 29. And and you're filming at a hotel called the Groove Hotel? So, it's, yeah, so we're basically... Or they just put the sign, The Groove, on some other hotel. <laughs> well, we're, at, we're actually at a villa, a nice, beautiful villa. Yeah. And, you know, that is The Groove Hotel. So it was it was huge. You know, there's different platforms and all different, like, hidden rooms. So it's really actually interesting. I don't know what they show on the show. I have not watched it yet. I know. So I'm curious. Um, a lot, I know a lot of other people watch the show already because it came out at midnight. It but, was your phone just blowing up. Yeah, when I woke up, I was like, what the hell's going on? But I forgot it premiered. <laughs> and so the three women, what were what were the three women like? So there's three women. So there's Sparkle, Steph, and mm-hmm. Brooke. And they're all in their early 40s. Yeah, so they're either 41 or 42. And two of them have kids, and that's something that you probably have in common with them because you have an 8-year-old son. Exactly. So, you know, I definitely connected with two of them, and the third one actually wanted a kid. So it kind of all <laughs> kind of worked out for me. <laughs> Going back to Tay Diggs, the host, what was he like? I honestly didn't get to meet him. And it was shocked. Really? No, no, I wish I did. He was always in the hidden rooms? Is that oh, what was I, happening? We, we saw him one time when they, when, you know, he first came out. We're yeah. Like, oh, like oh, it's Tate Diggs. But other than that, I we did not see him. No way. Because yeah, usually you would think that the contestants would interact with the host a little bit. I, know, I wish because, you know, I watch All American. So, you know, of I love that show. Yes, people so love was, All American. I was, I was just hoping to you know, get to meet him. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah. Uh, So you talked about you have to pull out the tricks because you have to stand out. There's 24 guys vying for the attention of three women, which actually odds wise is better than a show like The Bachelor and some of the other shows like uh, the show that you're on. So what were some of the tricks that you had to use? Oh, man. Well, it was tough because we didn't know how many women were even on Mm -hmm. the show until we until they walked out. Did they tell you that it's older women? Yes. Okay, so you knew that. Yeah, I knew it was older women. Um, I have dated, you know, a few older women in the past. So I was like, all right, why not give it a shot? But I knew that two of them had kids. So I just played the kid card because you know, I was the only dad on the show. Get out. See, I didn't know that because I don't know if we get that far yet because there's only two episodes right now as we're recording this. There's only two episodes on Hulu. So you're the only dad on the show. Yes. I mean, that kind of gives you a little bit of an edge. I know. So that I played that card. You like, had to. Yeah, yeah. So I had to play the card. And Was it like, hey, I'm Robert. I'm a dad. <laughs> uh, basically, well, you know, because, you know, I went on the show, like, open-minded. Yeah. You know, I'm single. You know, I'm trying to find someone for uh, me and my son. Yeah. So, you know, I kind of went in, in like... Trying to find someone for my son, you know, yeah. stepmom or yeah. something like that. So, Was it hard being away from him for filming? Yeah, yeah. And honestly, it was real tough because I had never been that long away for, from him. So, I hope that the producers actually gave you time at making a little bit of a, an exception. They probably take away phones and things like that. But were you able to get a bit of an exception and FaceTime him? Yeah, so no one had their phones for the time we were there. So it was tough. But they let me talk to him like, 
like twice or three times. Oh. So at least I got that. Yeah. And the service wasn't the best. So I was just like, it was tough to like really have a like, good conversation. No, I'm sure. And then he's asking questions like, oh, where am I? I can tell him because then he'll tell everyone. And I didn't even think about that because he's eight. Yeah. And so it's not like he's a baby and you can't exactly tell him to not tell anybody because eight year olds. They they oh, got oh, the yeah, best at keeping my dad's secrets. On TV. He's yes. like on Hulu. Like, exactly. I can't tell him. <laughs> oh, that must have been really hard. Yeah, it was. I just told him, you know, I'm going on a da- uh, dating reality show, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Go find me a stepmom." Like you literally said that. Literally. So, yeah. <laughs> what his, a good wingman. <laughs> because his mom uh, is married. Yeah. You know, so he, uh, she has a great. Uh, he has a great stepdad in his life, and he wants the same for yeah, his dad. Exactly. He wants me to be happy. How know? long was filming? Oh, can't tell you that. Oh. But. Uh, it was a little. It was a little bit, you know. Thinking back to your experience, um, what was the cringiest thing that might have happened that you're thinking? I I really hope it didn't make it to air, or or maybe you're not nervous about any of that. Oof. I don't know if I could say. Um, so two episodes out, I honestly don't know. Are like, you nervous I- to watch any of it with your family? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely <laughs> nervous to watch it because I don't know what I said because it was so long ago. Yeah. So I definitely could have, you know, not through shade at them, but depends uh, what's aired. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, no. You're going to do it a little bit blind. Oh, a little bit. So, but, you know, I got to wing it. And like we said, I, oh, I also, I do want to make mention of the fact that it is crazy. You've never really been a reality TV show guy. No. So you were really going into this like, all right, I'm going to go along for this ride. Yeah, I just, I went in blind and I had no clue what to expect. So um, watching what I've watched so far, the fruit budget on the show must have been the most expensive thing. Oh, yeah. Because every, every day they went to the market and it looks like the whole supermarket was in the... <laughs> It's in all the yeah. it's in all the promos. It's every time I I like look back out if somebody's eating fruit, it was pretty funny. Um, would you do anything like this again? Oof. I think I would do something like this again, honestly. But we got to see what kind of show it's going to be. I hope it's more than three women, because you know battling for attention with twenty four other dudes, I did stand out. You know, because I was the only one with a kid. So that definitely helped me give mm-hmm. me an edge. Yeah. And they, you know, they kind of like fell in love with that. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll Are you see. still friends with the guys? Yeah, I'm friends with a couple guys. Well, actually, most of them are in a group chat. So, uh, you know, it kind of gets crazy at group chat, but I try to not to <laughs> reply to it, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I talk to a, a women almost every day. Yeah. So. The women now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was talking to them this morning. Oh, yeah. Any yeah. of them in particular? Uh, Steph. I was talking to Steph. Okay. Are you spoiling the show right now? No, no, oh, okay. it's out. It's out. <laughs> Are you with Steph? Um, I was talking to her. I actually talked to all three, but you know, I I was talking to Steph this morning. This morning. Are you single right now? Um, I don't know if I could t- say this or not. Uh, yeah, I'm single right now. You're single right now. Yeah. Okay. All right, Back in the Groove <laughs> is on Hulu. Anything else that we should know about Back in the Groove on Hulu? Um, it's going to be a great show to watch. It's nothing like any other reality show out there. Honestly, there's hot moms, crazy ass, <laughs> cra- crazy dudes out there. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. <laughs> Love it. Robert, thank you so much for coming in. I can't wait to watch the entire season and how it unfolds. I know. So uh, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at rdella one um, You know, if you want to have a conversation, just slide in my DMs. We can talk about the show or any questions. <laughs> I love that.